Hi everybody, it's Peter Zellman, Screening Flix Adventure 8. Welcome to another video. How many camera bags do you need? <laughs> a lot in my case. Well, uh, Brevite, Brevite, uh, a US company, uh, a luggage company specializing in photographic camera bags, have sent me a bag to review. This is it. It uh, looks uh, pretty good. But anyway, let's go, let's check it out in more detail and I'll give you my first impressions before we sort of take it on a bit of a test run as well. Yeah, so I have a lot of camera bags. When I do my photography, I tend to sort of work out the event that I'm at or what I'm gonna be doing the type of camera gear that I require and then take whatever is necessary for the event. Will this be one bag that I use for numerous events? Let's, uh, let's review this bag, give you my first impressions and then uh, take it out, out into the field and see how I use it and with what equipment. Oh, just a quick note while you're watching this video, I'm not sure whether you're new, but I'm associated with a number of companies and those companies can provide discounts to my viewers and subscribers. So all you need to do is go to adventurate.com.au. Just click on the website. Yes, yeah, so let's go shop discounts and you find all the different companies that I'm associated with. So for example, SwiftX, so you can set up a crypto exchange and get $10 worth of free Bitcoin. iTech World for camping, lithium batteries, backup systems for your home. Red Tiger for dash cams, Vanmos electric bikes, and all sorts of different discount levels are available. And there are discount codes associated with each one of those, whether it be Adventure Aid or something else. So just go to the website. I hope you can take advantage of the discounts and back to the video. It's raining cats and dogs outside. So apologies for the rain noise, background noise. The things that I look for straight away. Well, okay, first impressions. It seems to be pretty light and um, it, it seems to have a fairly firm back as well, which is good. And uh, what else can I tell you about it? Got a few planes overhead, so you might hear it in the background noise as well. So we've got a tag here, and um, so on the tag it says Brevite. And this particular bag is called the Jumper Photo. And then a little statement says, we are luminaries chasing our true north. We are all learners, we are all creators, we are all dreamers, we are all humans. Go explore, life awaits. I wonder whether that's a, that's a brevete um, slogan, logo. Hmm, interesting. All right, so what do I notice straight away? Okay, well, um, straight away it's got a handle. Brilliant. The things that I look for, firstly, is the stitching. How good is the stitching? Because I know, particularly when you're pulling up the handles like that, and also like that, the first thing that goes on bags often is the stitching that's around there. So I often look to see exactly how that stitching is done, what material is used, and is it strong enough? But So this looks pretty strong. So it's all stitched in with a zip. So on the zip side, it, uh, it seems to be one of these waterproof zips, or highly waterproof. Uh, so that's good. And uh, what else do I notice straight away? It does have this little section here so that you can actually put it over one of those little trolley bags over the handle. So that uh, that's good. So that's, uh, that's good to have there. All right, so moving around the bag, we've got our front pocket with a couple of zips. So you've got two sections there they can get access to. A side pocket, so they can get access to the inside, which is a really good design. I really like that. And, uh, okay, um, a main section here. Oh, that's a deep one. That is for my laptop. Now, Theoretically, it does fit a 15-inch laptop. Yes, yeah, so it fits the 15-inch laptop in there. That's perfect. 
Uh, is, now, I won't always take a laptop, sometimes I can take an iPad with me as well, so that will fit in there. It's got a side pocket here for your water bottle, which is good, and it's got stretchy straps there, that's also good. And you could also probably put a small tripod in there and fasten it with a tether here on the side, so that is also good. And that's easy to tighten, whatever. Uh, underneath here you've got a couple of tabs as well, so you could actually attach a tripod underneath or clothing or whatever else that you may have, so that's good. And um, at the back here, that's it. Oh, okay. Yes, alright. Well, you've got a zip at the back here, which seems to be for mobile phones. I've got a 15 inch, well not a 15 inch, I've got, a, uh, I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max and does that fit in? Perfect. Hidden away, so that's good. Computer, phone, water bottle, small tripod. Okay, so let's have a look at what's on the inside now. So when we open up the main section here, what we've got, we've got some plastic, let's throw that out. And then you basically got access to the inside of the bag here. And uh, if we open up this first zip here, voila! So all this section here just can come out and you can adjust this as you like. So you can see you've got one, two, three, four, four partitions with Velcro so you can sort of set those up as you like. And um, and you can see it's basically an empty bag inside which is perfect. It's all lined with padding and soft material that the Velcro can fix to. And then you can if you don't you can if you lay this flat in there then this whole thing compresses as well so you can pack it away in a suitcase for example. Okay. Or if you just put that in there, then it holds its form. And then the other little front pocket you also have here. Like that. You can see you can put on little odds and ends, which is great. So it's not a huge bag. And there are some details there as far as the litres are concerned, what size. I think it's about 25 litre volume capacity. And um, yeah, it's a nice colour. I think you've got a green bag like this. So it looks so far so good. I think it looks pretty impressive. The stitching looks good. Um, the zips look fantastic. The little tags here to pull those zips are easy to get to. And it's got little knobs on the end there, so again, so even if you've got gloves on, you can actually operate the zips quite easily. So, first impressions, I like the bag, I like the colour. Now I've got to choose what camera gear I put in there, and I'm going to use it this weekend, maybe go up to the beach house. It's all raining, it's expected raining all day and all weekend. I uh, might also go to my studio, Greeny Flix studio, and uh, I'm going to do a couple of shoots there. So whatever camera gear I have, I'll put in here for that particular shoot, or some of it anyway. Uh, so you'll see more of this bag. Let's go do the shoot, let's take some photographs, take it out in the field, and see how it handles the different conditions.
Well, this is it, McMaster's Beach. Yeah, big, big day today. Uh, the lagoon opened up. So this morning, uh, the water level was so much higher. If you look over there in the distance, you can see that sand dune there basically has been cut in half. Three meters higher was the, was the uh, lake level. I've got to be careful here because the surf is coming in, the tide's coming in, I'll get washed away here. And uh, yeah, it's been an exciting day doing some photography. I've been carrying my Brevete backpack and with my two cameras in there. So I've got the Leica SL2 and uh, there you go, Brevete, oh, Brevete backpack. And uh, yeah, so the jumper, portal. It's been a great backpack. It's got the, I've configured it I've configured it so it's got the SL2, like SL2 with the uh, 24 to 90 millimeter, millimeter lens, the power supply, a spare lens, a Sigma 35 F2 lens, and also got my Leica Q2 reporter, which is green, goes well with the pack. Yeah, so I think that's going to be, this is going to be basically, I think I've decided, whoops. <laughs> uh, it will be my backpack that I use for my Leica uh, SL2 and Q2 and that way it's, it's a backup camera for the studio and backup bag uh, it goes you know, complements all my other gear as well yeah so good bag uh, it stacks up against the best bags that I have and uh, it's got the zips good quality zips good stitching configurable a lot of padding everywhere so that's exactly what you want for a backpack photo bag well I am impressed with the bag I think it is probably look there's no such thing as a right size it's you know the bag is the size that it is and then you work out how you're going to use it this is a great size for me where I'm not taking all my equipment where I have a certain project in mind and where I need some flexibility at least with camera gear, tripod, computer and a few odds and ends. It's, it's, so it's a bit more than a day pack uh, when I'm doing, well actually it just could be a day pack as well, it's light enough so you don't need everything in there. So I don't think I'll be storing, see what happens with a lot of my camera bags, I actually end up storing the camera set in the camera bag. So when I have an event, then I know roughly what set I need and I just grab that camera bag. So it becomes really a, a storage and a carrying bag for that set. And then when I get on location, then I pull out what I need and do the event or, or the, take, you know, do the photography. Um, but I only have about two or three bags which I keep empty so that I can just take that bag and throw in some gear and uh, whatever I need. Not really knowing, I don't have an event planned, but it becomes a day pack with some photography stuff to do photography. And I think that's what this bag is going to be used for. It's just going to probably stay empty in most cases. And then when I'm just going out for the day, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, taking one camera or two cameras, I'll just put it in there. I might take a laptop, water bottle, small tripod, and then, uh, and then change what's in there depending again what the event is. Yeah, so I think it's pretty good. So if you like this bag and you want to check out Brevete, well, you can go to their website, which is uh, brevete.co. Um, I do have an affiliate link with them uh, so that link will be in the video and also in the description by all means use that link uh, if you do actually buy something that does help out the channel that actually helps me present this sort of material for you as well and do these sort of reviews for you so again thanks Brevete for sending this bag to me to do the review um, yeah so I'm planning to keep it it will become a very a useful bag thanks again for watching Hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did. If it's the first time to my channel, you haven't already subscribed, then do subscribe, press notifications button. You'll be notified when the next video is out. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And thanks again, Brevity. Cheers, bye.